in our daily devotional today i'm going to challenge you the reason why you must rest you see when you take time to rest from all your works the blessing of the lord will rest upon your life not only that you will be refreshed again and that will prepare you for another time of work by the grace of god today i will be speaking now god created us to work and to rest god created us to walk and to rest my scriptural reading today is taken from the book of mark chapter 6 verse 30 to 31 this is an account of the disciples when they returned from the mission they came to jesus and jesus was telling them the importance of rest let's read the word of the lord together the word of god says the apostles returned to Jesus from their ministry tour and told him all they had done and taught. Then Jesus said, Let's go off by ourselves to a quiet place and rest a while. He said this because there were so many people coming and going that Jesus and his apostles didn't even have time to eat. There is something I want you to know today. You see, in our quest for gain and glory, in our quest for success and greatness in life, we tend to want to walk and walk and walk without rest. You see, that is a manifestation of greed and selfishness. I want you to know that God has factored the principle of rest into our physical alignment. A continuous foundation of this principle will lead to burnout. It will lead to breakdown and we may suffer irreparable damage as a result. God created us to work and to rest. As you plan your work, you should also plan your rest. This is how to program yourself to live long in life. In our text today, it was our Lord Jesus that initiated the plan for himself and his disciples to rest. Look at what the Bible says in verse 31. Let's go off by ourselves to a quiet place and rest a while. Let's go off by ourselves to a quiet place and rest a while. When they returned from the mission that Jesus sent them, he invited them into rest. He told them to come into rest. In the book of John chapter 5 verse 17, remember he said, My father is always working, and so I am. Jesus said, My father is always working, and so I am. Jesus worked really hard and also took his time to rest. You see, God created us to walk and to rest. You can see from the book of John chapter 5, verse 17, Jesus said, My father is always working and so I am. But at the same time, as he worked really hard, he also rest. We are created to walk and to rest. This is to be following the example of God Almighty Himself. He walked for six days and rested on the seventh day. After He ended all His works in six days, God took His time to rest from all His works on the seventh day. In the book of Genesis chapter 2, verse 1 to 3, the Bible further says that, So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was completed. On the seventh day, God had finished his work of creation. So he rested from all his work and God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy because it was the day when he rested from all his work of creation. You are created for work 
and for rest. As you plan for your work, at the same time, you need to plan for your rest. You can see that it is very clear that when you take time to rest from all your works, the blessing of the Lord rests on you. You are sanctified and refreshed in the presence of the Lord. I want to advise you today to plan for your daily rest, your eight hours that you have for yourself. Plan for your weekly rest, one whole day out of seven that you have for yourself. Plan for your annual rest. You need to take some time off your work to relax and renew your thinking process. Let me tell you this truth. To plan and factor rest with your agenda will keep you ready. You will be relaxed. You will be focused and productive and you will live long. I will close by reading the book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 9 to 10. The word of the Lord says, You have six days each week for your ordinary work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath day of rest, dedicated to the Lord your God. On that day, no one in your household may do any work. This includes you, your sons and daughters, your male and female servants, your livestock, and any foreigners living among you. God wants you to work and rest. As you plan for your work, at the same time, you need to plan for your rest. God wants you to work and He wants you to rest. Today, do you need the rest of the Lord? Do you need the peace of mind? Maybe you are looking up to God and you have been praying that God, when will you give me rest? I'm here to pray with you today. Let's talk to this God, the one that promised you rest. The one that want to give you the peace of mind. I want you to join me in prayer right now as I pray for you. Father Lord, I thank you today for the people that have listened to your word. I give you thanks for your wisdom in making rest part of our alignment in life. I pray for your people today that you will give them strength and wisdom that they need to do their work effectively while they needed to work. And I also pray that you will bless them with your heavenly wisdom that will help them to plan effective rest for their lives. I pray for those that are having one body or the other. Lord, give them rest today. I thank you because you will answer this prayer. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thanks for listening to this message. I would like to read your comment below and do tell us about the impact of this message in your life. Thank you for joining us. I hope you've been blessed tremendously with this life-changing insight during our daily devotional today. If you are stopping by for the first time, I welcome you to this platform. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you have not done so before and remember to share this message with your friends with your family and your loved ones thanks for doing that if you would like to be notified of our new uploads click on the bell icon when you subscribe and remember to turn on your notifications god bless you till i bring the word of the lord to you next time i'm ready bye for now god bless